Hey guys, welcome back to creating content in your Google Classroom. We've talked about creating material. We've talked about creating um, an assignment with a due date. This time I'm going to talk about creating an assignment and just scheduling that assignment. So we're going to come up here to create. Um, and this time we'll do a quiz assignment. And this automatically creates a Google form. Um, I don't have to use this one that's already created. I actually have a Google form that I'm going to use. We'll just use this blank one. All right, so um, I'm just going to call this survey. Please complete this survey about yada, yada. Um, you have lots of different options when it comes to Google Forms. Um, I have some Google Form tutorials on my website. Um, and then there's lots of other Google Form tutorials out there. I have yet to do a video tutorial of it because it's just so in-depth. Um, but feel free to look for those resources. And if I get a, a video tutorial out, I'll link it on here. Um, so that is it for this side. Um, grade importing, I love that. Like if it's a multiple choice question and it's going to go ahead and give me the grade, then it automatically imports the grade into my Google Classroom gradebook. So I don't have to worry about typing it all in myself. Um, you can turn on grade importing or turn it off. Um, anything that's not multiple choice, you're going to have to go in and grade it though um, to give them those points. So make sure it's for the right class. Make sure it's for the students that you want. If you're doing points, make sure it's on points. If not, turn it to ungraded. Um, I am going to give this a due date. I'm just going to pick the 23rd. I am going to give it a topic or a time. I meant. And topic, I'm going to put another things to make you successful. Um, if I wanted to create a new topic, I just click on create. If I need a rubric for it, I can add a rubric. Um, I love that tool for my writing class and for any projects that we use. Um, and then I'm going to come up here. I'm not going to click on assign. I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and I'm going to go to schedule. And I'm going to schedule this to push out. So I want it to go to my students tomorrow on the 20th. Is that tomorrow? No, that's Friday. Yeah, I want it to go out on Friday the 20th um, at 8 a.m. Sure. So I'm going to click schedule. And... So you see it here, it's not blue yet because it hasn't posted yet. And it tells me over here that it's scheduled for March 20th at 8 a.m. If I need to edit that or any of my assignments, any of my materials, um, I just click on those three dots and go to edit. And it pulls it back up again. The only thing when you do that that you can't edit is if you have a document down here that you need to make a copy for each student or you want to change it, you can't go back and edit that. It's either the way that it was or you have to completely redo the assignment. For example, here, each student gets a copy and now I can't go back and change that. Like it's stuck the way it is and if I want to change it, I'm out of luck. Um, so that's it for scheduling assignments. Um, try it out. See how you feel about it. Um, 